Get set, go. Pupils book six. By Side one. Unit one. Page two. Number three. Listen and read. Hello, my name's Susan West, and I'm twelve years old. In my free time, I like playing tennis. I've got my own tennis racket. I go to the park every weekend and play with my friends or my brother Tom. Last weekend, Tom and I were at the park when it started raining. We couldn't play tennis, so we went home and watched television. Next weekend, we're going to go back to the park. We'll try to play tennis again. Unit two, page three, number one. Listen and read. It's cold and it's raining. I don't like the weather here. I'd like to go somewhere warm and sunny. Where would you like to go? Would you like to go to America, Susan? Who are you? I'm Go Man. I can fly anywhere. Would you like to fly to America with me? Oh yes, I'd love to go to America. Would you like to meet someone famous? Yes, I would. Come on, Susan. Wait for me, Go Man. I'd like to go to America too. <laughs> Page five. Number six. Listen and match. Number seven. Listen and complete. In Aspen today, the weather is cool and dry. In New York, it's not very nice. It's wet and windy. The weather in Chicago is cold and cloudy. The best weather today is in Miami. There, it's hot and sunny. Unit 3, page 7, number 1. Listen and read. This is exciting. Where are we? We're flying over the east coast of America. If you look down, you can see New York. Look! There's the Statue of Liberty. We're turning left. Where are we going now? We're flying south now. We're going to Florida. If we go to Florida, we can visit Disney World. If we visit Disney World, we can meet Mickey Mouse. If you look down now, you can see the coast of Florida. It's beautiful. Look at those palm trees, Susan. I can't see anything. It's too cloudy. If you hold on to me, you can fly through the clouds. Come on, Tom. Page nine, number six. Listen and sing. Come to 
Unit 4, page 11, number 1. Listen and read. 4th of January. Today we arrived in Orlando. We visited Disney World. It is a very big place, and there are lots of things to see. When we went to Discovery Island, we saw a zoo and a bird sanctuary. The birds and animals were wonderful. I'd like to look after animals. I liked the flamingos best. They're beautiful birds. Susan. 5th of January. Today we went to Wet and Wild. I had a great time. There's a swimming pool, but it has waves just like the sea. When I swam in it, the waves were very big. Then I went down a big slide. It was about 50 metres long. When I went down it the first time, I was a bit frightened. But I went down it again, and I really enjoyed it. Tom. Page 14, number 7. Listen and sing. Unit 5, page 15, number 1. Listen and read. Shall we have a race? No, I don't want to race. I can swim faster than you. No, you can't. I can swim faster than you. Don't be silly, Susan. Oh, come on, Tom. Let's have a race. Dive in quickly. Oh, all right. But I'll beat you easily. Can I race with you too? But you're only nine. You're two years younger than me. But I can swim really well. Please let me race with you. You see, Tom? I beat you. I swam more quickly than you. But Ben was the fastest. He swam faster than you. He beat you easily. I swam faster than both of you. Page 16. Number 3. Listen. Read and say. Badly. Worse. The worst. Fast. 
faster, the fastest, well, better, the best, loudly, more loudly, the loudest, quickly. More quickly. The quickest. Quietly. More quietly. The quietest. Slowly. More slowly. The slowest. Carefully. More carefully. The most carefully, easily, more easily, the most easily. Page eighteen, number eight. Listen and say. Turn your head. One, two, three. Turn it more slowly. Do it like me. Don't turn it so quickly. It's easy, you see. Clap your hands. One, two, three. Clap them more quietly. Do it like me. Don't clap them so loudly. It's easy, you see. Unit six, page nineteen, number one. Listen and read. Shall we play tennis? Not just now. I'm eating chips. You shouldn't eat so many chips, Tom. If you eat too many chips, you'll get fat. No, I won't. Okay, I finished eating. Let's play tennis. No, it's too hot now. I'm thirsty. If you drink too much cola, you'll be sick. No, I won't. Would you like to play volleyball? No, thanks. I'm drinking this lemonade. No, thanks. I'm eating this ice cream. If you eat and drink too much, you won't beat me at swimming. Go away, Ben. Unit seven, page twenty-three, number one. Listen and read. When I was young, I could run for miles. I'm too old to run now, but I can still walk. Last year, I moved to a new house. There's a nice park near my house. I take my dog for a walk there every day, even when it's raining. Walking keeps me fit. It keeps the dog fit too. Last year, my friend took me to his karate club. I wasn't very fit then, and I couldn't do the exercises. The people were very friendly, and the trainer helped me a lot. After a few months, I could do the exercises. Last month, I won my red belt. I started playing tennis three years ago. My mum taught me how to play. She gave me a small racket because I couldn't use a big racket. Now I'm a member of a tennis club. 
After a year, I could use a big racket. I like playing tennis. You meet lots of nice people at the club, and it keeps you fit. Page twenty six, number six. Listen and sing. When I was young, I could touch my toes. I could catch a ball on the end of my nose. I could ski in the snow till my fingers froze. But I can't do that now. I can't do that now. I could hold my breath till my face turned blue. I could jump as high as a kangaroo. I could run as fast as a lion too. But I can't do that now. No, I can't do that now. Unit eight, page twenty-seven, number one. Listen and read. My name is Matthew Burns. I'm fifteen years old, and I'm a swimmer. I train every day. I get up at six o'clock every morning. I go for a run. I usually run for about five kilometers. I get back home at half past six. Then, I do exercises for half an hour. After that, I have breakfast. Usually, cereal or toast and jam. I leave home at half past seven and cycle to school. I usually arrive at school at eight o'clock. I swim for an hour at lunchtime. Then I swim for two hours after school too. It's hard work, but you have to work hard if you want to be a good swimmer. That's what Terry says. Terry's my trainer. When Terry was young, he could swim fast. He was the best swimmer in Britain. He swam in the Olympic Games. I'd like to take part in the Olympic Games. If I train hard, I can swim in the Olympic Games too. Page thirty, number eight. Listen and complete. Let's have a look at the medal table. The USA is in first position with 15 gold medals. They won silver and bronze medals in the women's 400 meters today, and that gives them 10 silver medals and 10 bronze. In second position is France with eight gold medals. Today, their football team won a silver medal. So now, France has eight gold medals, six silver, and four bronze. Australia has moved up the table into third position. Australia now has six gold medals in total, six silver, and three bronze.
Unit 9, page 31, number 1. Listen and read. We had geography at school today. So did we. We learnt about the Great Barrier Reef. It was really interesting. The Great Barrier Reef is in Australia, isn't it? That's right. It's made of coral. You can see lots of beautiful fish there. We learned about the Taj Mahal today. It's a palace in India. It's made of white marble, and it's the most beautiful building in the world. I'd love to go to India. I wouldn't, but I'd love to go to Australia. I'd love to see the Great Barrier Reef. So would I. But how can we go to Australia? I know. Let's ask Go Man to take us there. Here I am, children. Are you ready to come with me to Australia? Oh, yes, please, Go Man. Unit 10, page 35, number 1. Listen and read. Well, are you having a good time in Australia? We're having such a wonderful time here. It's so exciting and there's so much to see. What do you like best about Australia? I like the animals. The kangaroos are so funny. They can jump really high. I love the Great Barrier Reef. The fish and the coral are so beautiful. Susan and I went in a glass bottom boat. You can sit in the boat and look at the fish through the glass. That's a good idea. If you swim in the sea, you must be careful. You mustn't touch the fish. There are some dangerous fish in the sea. I swam in the sea. I didn't touch a fish, but I touched a piece of coral. It was very sharp. You mustn't touch the coral, Susan. The Great Barrier Reef isn't dead. It's alive. We have to take care of it. Unit 11, page 39, number 1. Listen and read. I've got a geography test at school tomorrow. It's about China. Can you help me, Susan? All right. What do they eat in China? China's a very big country. Rice is eaten in the south of China, but they eat noodles in the north. Noodles? What are they made from? They're made from wheat. A lot of wheat is grown in the north of China. What do they make in China? They make lots of things. Cameras, cars, bicycles. Yes, millions of bicycles are made in China every year. Not many people have got cars, so bicycles are used to travel around the country. I've got a maths test tomorrow. Can you help me, Tom? Sorry, I don't know anything about maths. Page 41. Number 4. Listen and complete. We're going to look at three different countries. America, 
China and India. Let's start with what is grown in these countries. Tea is grown in China and India, but not in America. Now for coffee. Well, coffee is grown in the south of India, but they don't grow coffee in China or America. Now, what things are made in these countries? All three countries make things like radios. Radios are not very expensive to make, but bigger things, such as aeroplanes. Are only built in America and China, but not in India. India does not yet have a plane industry. Page forty-one, number six. Listen and sing. End of side one. Side two. Unit twelve, page forty-five, number six. Listen and put the pictures in order. Chen and the Magic Axe, Part Three. The next morning, Chen's master said, "Today I'll go to the river. I'll find the old man. I'll get the axe made of gold." He took an old iron axe, and he went to the river. As he was walking across the bridge. He dropped the axe into the river. Then, he sat down, and pretended to cry. Suddenly, he saw an old man with a beard. He was excited. So, Chen's story was true. But Chen's master still pretended to cry. What's the matter? The old man asked, oh, "My axe has fallen into the river. I won't be able to chop any wood, and my master will be angry with me." "Don't cry," the old man said. "I'll get it for you." The old man jumped into the river. He held up an axe. Is this your axe? He asked. Chen's master looked at the axe. It was made of iron. No, he said, that's not my axe. The old man held up another axe. Is this your axe? He asked. Chen's master looked at the axe. It was made of silver. No, said Chen's master. 
That's not my axe. The old man held up another axe. Is this your axe? He asked. Chen's master looked at the axe. It was made of gold. Yes, he said. That's my axe. My axe is made of gold. And he took the axe from the old man. Chen's master was very happy. Ha <laughs> ha! He laughed. Now I'm going to be a very rich man. I've got a gold axe. But as he was crossing the bridge, he slipped. He fell into the river, and drowned. Now, Chen did not have a master, but he still had his magic axe. Chen went home to his mother and father. The magic axe worked hard for Chen and his family. Soon, they were not poor any more. Unit thirteen, page forty-seven, number one. Listen and read. Monday. Have you read this week's pop stars? No, I haven't read it yet. There's great news. Ziggy's coming here next week. He's going to do a concert in our town. Ziggy's coming here. He's great. I've just bought his latest CD. So have I, and I've read his latest interview. I've already got a poster of Ziggy in my room. Let's go to Ziggy's concert. Have you ever been to a pop concert? No, I've never been to a pop concert, but I'd like to see Ziggy. I'll get tickets today. Tuesday. Have you got tickets for the concert? No, I haven't. There were no tickets left. I've got tickets for Ziggy's concert. He's my favourite singer. We can go to the concert together. Thank you, Go Man. Page forty nine. Number four. Listen and read. Here we are at the airport. Ziggy's plane has just landed, but Ziggy hasn't appeared yet. A big crowd of people has already gathered. They're shouting Ziggy, Ziggy, Ziggy. But wait a moment. The door of the plane has just opened. I can see Ziggy, but the people haven't seen him yet. Now he has just stepped out of the plane. He's walking down the steps. The people have seen him now. They're already running towards the plane. A girl has just thrown some flowers at Ziggy. Page 50, number 7. Listen and say. Hi, my name is Ziggy. I've just arrived in town. I feel at home already. I haven't seen a frown. You certainly have given me 
my warmest welcome yet. We've really had a concert I never will forget. I've sung all your old favorites. I've even made you cry. But now it's time to leave you. It's time to say goodbye. Unit 14, page 51, number 1. Listen and read. Hurry up, Tom. I have to get into the bathroom. I must get ready for Ziggy's concert. I've only been in here for five minutes. Look, it's half past seven. You've been in there since quarter past seven. No, I haven't. I've only been in here since 25 past seven. Stop arguing, you two. Why can't you be friends? We are friends, but Tom went into the bathroom quarter of an hour ago. I want to go in there now. But I only went in five minutes ago. Have you seen my car keys? I can't find them. I haven't seen them since this morning. Where were they? They were in the bathroom. Tom, come out of that bathroom. You've been in there long enough. Page 53, number 5. Listen and read. Welcome to Manchester, Ziggy. Thank you, Barbara. It's very nice to be here. When did you arrive in Manchester? I've been here since Wednesday. So you've been here for only two days. And how long are you staying? I'm staying here for another week. You live in America now. How long have you lived there? I've lived in America for a year now, but I always like coming back to Britain. <laughs> You've got your band with you, the Easy Riders. How long have you been together? We've been together for six years. We were all at the same school. We were good friends. Are you still friends? Yes, we are. But sometimes we argue, just like friends do. Unit 15, page 55, number 1. Listen and read. How do planes fly? I don't know. It's amazing, isn't it? Planes are made of metal and glass. They're not made of paper like kites, are they? No, they're not. Planes are very heavy, aren't they? Yes, they are. If they're very heavy, why don't they fall and crash to the ground? Stop asking these questions, Susan. What's wrong, Tom? You aren't frightened, are you? Yes, I am. I hate flying. I'm frightened of flying. Sorry, Tom. Would you like to read my book? My life as an astronaut. No thanks, Susan.
Unit 17, page 63, number 1. Listen and read. Can I help you? I'd like to see the treasures of Tutankhamun. Aren't they in the museum? Yes, they are. I'll take you to them. Thank you very much. Don't you think it's beautiful? Oh, yes, I do. Is it very old? The treasures of Tutankhamun are more than 3,000 years old. But no one found them until 1922. They were in a tomb near the River Nile. Can't you see the Nile from the museum? Yes, you can. Look, there it is. Don't you have big rivers like that in your country? No, we don't. There aren't any big rivers in Japan. Unit 18, page 67, number 1. Listen and read. What are you doing, Tom? I'm digging old Mrs Wood's garden for her. She's too old to do it herself. That's very nice of you. Can I help you? Yes, please. It's too much to do by myself. Look at this, Tom. What is it? It's an old coin. It's got some words written on it. And it's got a woman's head on it. It looks very old. We should show it to Mrs Wood. This might be the head of Queen Victoria. Why don't we ask Go Man? He might know about old coins. Page 68, number 3. Listen, read, and say. I, me, myself, you, you, yourself, he, him, himself. She, her, herself, we, us, ourselves, they, them, themselves. Page 70, number 8. Listen and say. My name is Dino Dinosaur. I live in a museum. Other creatures live there too. My goodness, you should see them. The children love to look at me and touch my long green tail. I never ever frighten them and make them cry or wail. I'm a nice old dinosaur and wouldn't hurt a flea. I love the little children and know that they love me.
Unit 19, page 71, number 1. Listen and read. Tell me about this coin that you found. It's got a woman's head on it. It might be the head of a British queen who died a hundred years ago. This coin is from the time of Elizabeth I. She was a queen who lived in the 16th century. So the coin is more than 400 years old? Yes, Susan. And it's worth a lot of money today. Hooray! I knew it! We're going to be rich! I'm sorry, Tom. Any coins which are found go to the museum. The people who find the coins don't get any money. No! Oh. Page 72, number 3. Listen, read and say. This is the coin which the children found. The coin that the children found is worth a lot of money. People who find old coins don't get any money. Unit 21, page 79, number 1. Listen and read. It's such a beautiful day today. The sun is shining. It's so hot. Let's go somewhere. Where shall we go? Let's go to the seaside. Let's go to Portsea. Yes, Portsea's such a great place. We can play football on the beach. We can ride our bikes in the park. We can eat ice cream in the cafe. We can go fishing at the harbour. Then we can cook the fish on the beach. But you never caught a fish. Yes, I have. I caught a fish last year. But it was too small to eat. You had to throw it back in the sea again. Stop arguing, you two. We don't need fish. I've got some burgers. We can cook them on the beach. Unit 22, page 84, number 4. Listen and complete. I've been a diver for five years. At first, I just dived in my spare time. I worked in a bank. But I spent more and more time diving. Then one day, I found a silver cup. It had the date on it. 1655. And it had the place where it was made on it, too. Venice. It was so exciting. After that, I left my job at the bank and spent all my time diving. My father has been a fisherman for 30 years. I've only been a fisherman since I was 16. 
It's a hard life, and we don't make much money. It's also quite dangerous when the weather is bad. But I like the sea. I'd like to learn more about the sea. I'd like to go to university and study, but I can't do that now. I have to help my father. Unit twenty four, page ninety four, number eight. Listen and answer. My name's Betty Mackay. I've got a hotel at Inverreck Bay. The beaches are ruined. We won't have any tourists this summer. My name's John Callan. I'm the minister for Scotland. This is a terrible disaster. But the government can't pay for it. My name's Jenny Henderson. I'm a bird watcher, and I'm worried about the birds of this coast. Hundreds of birds are covered in oil. We can save them, but we need help. We need people who will come and help us clean up the birds. My name's Eric Svensson. I'm the owner. Of the Queen of the Sea, this is a terrible disaster for us. We have lost a ship which costs millions of pounds. We're very sorry about the oil, but it was an accident. We can't pay for the cost of cleaning it up. End of side two.